Offa Zaramati is an Israeli fisherman who operates his boat out of the Jaffa port in Tel Aviv. He used to work in a system, Italian system, it's called mother boat. It's a big boat with a big net and a small boat that we are trolling after us with a big light. Big lamps that give us a strong light on the water. We used to work like this for three months in the season of the sardines. We open the light, then we put an anchor to the small boat, we go to sleep a little bit. About one o'clock, two o'clock, we get up, get ready, and we are throwing the net surround, surround the sardines. One time, we catch a small dolphin in the net by mistake. And we hear him uh, crying like it was like a baby, it was like a kid that's crying. It's not like a fish. It's a crying of something that's going to die. But you can't help it because it's a far away, it's dark. It's, it's a danger to, to even to try to help him. You can't jump to the water on uh, 300 meters there with sharks and you don't know exactly where is it. Because you hear the voice in the dark, you know, it's over there someplace. You look but you can't see nothing and everybody on the boat hearing it for a half hour. And then it stopped, it died. And now I have kids, you know, sometimes they start to cry, you know, it just give me the, the same voice. It's a voice that don't, you don't hear it, you feel the voice. It, this is the difference. Genetic studies show that pilot whales, a larger species of dolphin, spend their entire lives traveling, socializing, and collaborating within close family groups, comprising of sometimes three generations. Their bonds, like all dolphins, tend to be strong. In the Faroe Islands in Denmark, um, I've watched um, numbers of dolphins and, and small pilot whales being chopped up, and there it's almost almost more horrific because it's a very wealthy country and they have a very high standard of living. Probably two of the worst places in the world for killing dolphins specifically for food um, are in Japan and Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka the dolphins didn't used to be eaten there but once uh, various gill nets start to get used, coastal gill nets, they started to catch them accidentally. A similar situation that happens in other countries like Peru and they started to bring in the dolphins, and once they started to bring in the dolphins, it started to get on the local menus. So people then start actually deliberately catching them. In Japan, it's much more industrialized. And with the whale ban that occurred in 1986, and the world decided it was wrong now to commercially kill whales, and the Japanese turned their harpoons and their spears onto a lot of the dolphin population. And one particular species, the Dal's porpoise, was really hit very hard indeed. In fact, in a three-year period leading up to 1990, they killed about 68% of the known population of Dahl's porpoises around their waters, which was a phenomenal massacre, absolutely phenomenal. The Japanese government is completely resisting um, changes to the various different species of dolphins that are killed in that country, partly because it supports the whale meat trade and partly because they're killed in the areas where whales are killed as well and there's a big battle between the Japanese and the rest of the world over this issue. But there, they're flouting their own laws, even where they have regulations, no one's really bothering with them. It's difficult in countries like the Philippines, Sri Lanka, Peru, because you are talking there about a product that is bought by the local people who have very little money. So you're dealing with very different issues compared to Japan. It was discovered recently that Venezuelan fishermen were hunting dolphins and selling the meat for shark bait. The dolphin is not in danger of extinction. We are talking about 25,000 dolphins out of a population of 12 to 14 million. Should we let half a million people die of hunger to save the lives of 25,000 dolphins because of the television program Flipper? If this is the attitude, within 10 years we'll have embargoes against people who eat rabbit because of Bugs Bunny.